Now, did you notice what I just did? I closed the windows. What impact does that have on you as a participant in a training in which I am the trainer? What impact does that have? You might not notice, but what impact does it have? I went and closed the windows. Oh. Okay. I was grateful. Yeah, I your care of so, taking care of you. Taking care of you? What else? Quieted well, I got things quiet, of course. That's the no, I mean, out there, we quieted. You quieted? Yeah. Okay. What else? So many things about presentations that you can do to make life easy for you. Am I the trainer who, who's, who prances in at the last moment and does his thing and then exits like a movie star? If I did, would that give a very different message to whatever content I delivered? If I, if I run around and I fill some of the water tanks or I do this, what, what does that accomplish in terms of leveling? That I'm part of, it's not like I'm up here and you're down there. We're all part of the thing. We're all part of the, the crew on the ship, so to speak. We're all doing stuff. Let me do another one. I don't know. I don't think I did it with you guys. I watched a guy once in a training video, he was um, going for certification. And he turned the page like this. <laughs> what message did that send? That's, yeah, that's important information. He's very loving. No, he's very <laughs> <very chill. laughs> loving, <laughs> gentleness, <laughs> etc., etc. How many of you have been to a seminar with Bandler? How does he do it? <laughs> I don't think he ever turned it up, Charlie. <laughs> Well, what I've seen often is something like <laughs> What message does that send? Okay? So there are all these little things. That if you pay attention to them, they're, they're, they're quite useful. You can really make use of them. When Connie Ray and I were first doing trainer training, there was this guy who knew the stuff cold. He was a, a computer programmer, so he understood programs perfectly better than I did. And he kept getting this, this feedback that he was uh, distant and dissociated and cold and stuff like that. We watched his videos over and over and over. Finally, it got to us. Ask, ask me a question. Me? Yeah. How old are you? <laughs> ask him another question. <laughs> what do you have for lunch? What difference does that make? Do it again. What did you have for lunch? I had a sandwich with some bologna and some cheese and ask me again. Uh, I'm just wondering what did you have for lunch? Did you enjoy I had that? a sandwich with bologna and cheese. You see the difference? Just a little bit of moving forward, it can even be a head tilt, can make all the difference in whether people feel connected or not. And we taught him that and suddenly he got rave reviews. Yeah. I'm not getting that experience. Could you just tell me which one's which? <laughs> if you ask me a question, I move toward you. Did you notice that I just took a step toward you? When I you noticed asked? what you're doing. I just don't notice the distinction. What's that? I noticed that you're doing different things. I just don't interpret Before or back? Front or back? Moving forward or back? But this guy, when he got cold reviews, somebody asked him a question, and it was kind of a natural thing that he did to gather his thoughts. But people took it as being um, pulling back from the question, pulling back from the person. And you just do the simple little thing of even just a little head moving forward or a simple little step forward, and it makes all the difference in the world. People feel accepted and connected and all this good stuff. And they wouldn't be able to consciously say what it was. No. We couldn't consciously say what it was. We, we could register it, but if, it took us the longest time to figure out what was going on. One of the things that I noticed in, in our group um, was a person told a story and went this direction, uh -huh. but the person moved the opposite direction when they were doing the... They basically, instead of mirroring the image uh -huh. movement, they did the same movement. Okay. Which Let me see if I understand you. So you do... Oh, well, come up here for a minute. We get on a video and make you famous.
<laughs> so I'm facing you, is that right? And you're you just just do what they did. Well, we've got these things. What well, actually said, I got all these things to do. Right, great. So, what do you? How do you pace this? There's two basic uh, possibilities. One is to be in my space and pace it like this. That's called mirroring. You're doing the opposite thing. You got to do that in your space. If I did that in your space, it's not going to be a good pace. But if I want to do it in his space, I could do it like this. And then that would be a good pace. You understand those are the two fundamental things? No. Yeah. Do you still have a question? Well, yeah, sure, I do have another okay. question, which relates to doing presentations like this. Mm -hmm. And if I'm talking about goals and uh -huh. time, yeah. and so as we go toward the future, yeah. or as we go toward the future, <coughs> my future's out there, yeah. but your future's out okay. there. Okay, great. And I, I puzzled with that one in terms okay. of doing presentations. Great. Did you hear the pronoun you used? You see, you confuse it with a program pronoun. You said we, as we go into the future. Okay. So here's how to distinguish it. If it's a, as I go into the future, you do that. Mm -hmm. As you go into the future, you could do that way, and then it's a pace for most of the people. Of course, not everybody. But if you go, as soon as you go we, then you're stuck, kind of stuck in this middle ground. Well, here would be okay. The next thing is, as a preacher. Yeah. And I'm t if you were the congregation and I am the leader and we <laughs> are going into whose future? <laughs> Where is our future? Well, you got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not the same. <laughs> I've always wondered that when I'm standing in the yeah. pulpit, um, which direction should I be pointing? You know, when I'm thinking about future you goals. Turn, turn, turn sideways. You turn sideways and point that way. That would be a possibility. Okay. So if I turned. Yeah. Turn, turn, turn like turn, turn like this as we go into the future. As we go into the future, and as we contemplate the past. Okay, that could work. Okay, okay, friends. Well, this isn't a seminar on training, uh, nonverbals in training, but I just thought maybe a few tidbits would be useful.